Which one? Oh, here. Okay. Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies, and what is all this? We got bottle, 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 Lafroigs, we got McAllen's, what's happening? It's a gassing experiment. It's our third uh, trip. The third continuation. Show, third. Right. Third. Experiment, third, uh, well, uh, the whole thing's an experiment. Iteration. So. And I can smell the Lafroig. Three, two. December's ago we started this. I like the way you phrased that. I had to think. Two One, December's two, three. ago. Yes. Four score and two December's ago. So we've got gas bottles and we've got non-gas bottles in yes. front of us. Lafroig 10, McAllen 12. Now what do you Does, mean by gas? That could be bad. That could be, you know, are we talking intestinal? No. I don't want that on your whiskey. Ah, <laughs> no, you don't. You know, a lot of people have wondered, do you need to gas whiskey? And we get yeah, asked that question a lot. Yeah, preserve it, make it keep long, keep the oxygen off of it. And so we thought, let's start a long-term experiment. We're going to have one bottle that's not gassed. Right. We drew, we we, drew on it with black here. Sharpie. We've got one bottle that is gassed. And what right. we did also was we, we poured off um, two-thirds of the bottle. We left about eight to nine ounces in there mm -hmm. uh, just to simulate it's an open bottle. It's been open for a while. And it was the same. We'd had extra bottles, so we used just one bottle. Mm -hmm. So it's not like there's different batches yes. or anything. Now, also, we have a control bottle. We do. From the same. Right we there. bought three bottles of Lafroy 10 from the same shelf, the same batch. We bought three bottles of McAllen. Uh, 12 from the same batch and then we have so we still have a sealed bottle of Lafroy 10 and a sealed bottle of McAllen I'm going to say 12. you're saying three. Yeah. I remember buying two bottles. We made sure we saved an empty one of both. We cleaned it real oh, okay. good and then we... That could be. Yeah. So and then... That could be. For control, so bought, we bought two from the same time. That's it's sitting that. in here as a control completely unopened, never even out of their box. Yep. And the idea is... By the time we're done, we'll have the gassed version, the non-gassed version, and the one that's never been opened, and we'll be able to test them and see how have they shifted or changed over time. Mm -hmm. The other thing we did this time, you, no spoiler, I won't give too much, go look at the second season where we, or the second gassing part of the experiment, where we were a little stunned with the Lafroy. I felt, I don't remember your exact feelings, but that the gas actually had made it taste different than the non-gas. Mm -hmm. yeah. And a lot of people asked us to do them blind in the future, so mm -hmm. it just our preconceptions. So right. you poured mine of both of these. I don't know which one's gas, which one isn't, and I poured yours. Yep. So we are going to start with the McAllen, though. Bart poured mine. I don't know which one of these is gas, which one isn't. Mm -hmm. Now, if I remember just right, Just don't though, move them around. Yeah. If, if I remember <laughs> right, though, uh, the Lafroy 10 was really the only one that showed change. That's what I remember so, as well. So uh, we'll go into the McAllen 12, though. I've got coins 307 and 310. I've got 306 and 303. Great caliber. Mm -hmm. All okay. right. 303. Uh, what, do you want to start with the Pretty left glass? Sure. sure. Far left glass, McAllen could be gassed, could be non gassed. Mm, burnt almonds, a little bit of sulfur. Yeah. Sherry. Sulfur for sure. Yep. Almonds, sherry, burnt sulfur was the first thing mm -hmm. I got. Yep. I wouldn't that say really... this doesn't seem like it's changed at all. I'm just going to go to nose. the next nose. You're going to nose it. Yep. See if there's any. No. Well, well, maybe. I still get the burnt sulfur, the almonds. It seems slightly different. This one seemed, my right, seemed slightly muted compared to the left one. I got but, something that reminded me a little bit of pond water, if I was going to say something. Yeah, but not quite both, bad. I mean, yeah. it's not bad. All right, we'll taste, go back, taste the left real quick. I'm going to go in and taste the I left think they're, one. I think they're the same. Uh, I think the first, the initial blast on, on the left one just got in be. there. Yeah, that palette. sulfur was seemed more powerful. Really, all the notes are still the same, though, still there. So you're starting with your left one? Mm-hmm. Now, in post, do you want to edit these? You're real good about throwing down, like, you know this one is the gassed or non-gassed or whatever. So maybe they're seeing it. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, maybe, maybe not. You can cut that if you don't like that part. Hmm. 
some Taste. of those drier wine cherry notes, but it seems a little muted on flavor to me. That's what I was going to say. Uh, same. Uh, tastes similar to Macallan 12, but kind of um, muted, just kind of flat. Ah, that's exactly what I was just going to say. Kind of flat. Now, again, it could be that this has been, I mean, look how low it is. Mm -hmm. This is the non-gassed one. And it's pretty darn low. So you would think oxidize, if this is the non-gassed one, you would think that oxidization could be hitting it. You're on the second one? Nope, still the, just the All left right. one. Hold just on, the let left. Me cleanse a little bit too. Yeah. Um, but that's to simulate yes. sitting on your bar. So this yep. is actually two years. Yep. We opened them, we did this, we waited a year. We did mm -hmm. the first update, it was last year, so this is the second update. The other thing in. we've done that's interesting, the gas one, we've used that, what's that uh, tape or wax, paraffin wax, mm. right? Um, uh, parafilm. Parafilm, we wrap the gas one in the parafilm, make sure it's sealed tight. We leave the non gas one as if it was just sitting on your bar. I literally put them all in a box, they sit in my mechanical room in the basement and just hang out. All right. Mm hmm. That seems richer. That seems a lot stronger. Not flat. That's interesting. Um, my one on the right definitely has a richer flavor palette. I think so with mine as well. A little tingle on my tongue. More fruit. Yeah. That's interesting. That's distinctly different. Let me try. Mm. Mm -hmm. Nice sherry notes. Nice the one on the fruits. left isn't bad. I mean, it's I can tell it's in there, but yeah, it just seems muted. I'll go back to it real quick mm -hmm. and see. Mm. Easy. And I'm going to guess... Simply because I know which one of yours is gas, I'm guessing that my gas one is the one on the left because we're describing them the same. Can I tell you which one of yours is gas just for the McCallum? Yes. Left. That's the gas one? Gas one is left. Yours which one is mine? Left one. Bingo. Oh, yeah. The gas is, I'm telling you, it's had a bad effect on this on this McCallum, and it's it's surprising me. I don't think last year, I don't think it showed that much difference, but... It sure does here. Yeah. And the way you were describing and you were lined up, I'm like, I knew, I knew from what you were saying that the gas one was on the left and it was muted. <laughs> mm. You know, it's interesting, you know, the nose seemed better, mm -hmm. but like you said, it had been covered and that was that first burst. Flavor is very distinctly different. Much stronger with the non gas mm. That was uh, someone had pointed out though too with the nose with the gas that you should let it sit for a while. Just let that gas kind of it would evaporate off. But the we nose was actually bit, stronger. We it's been open for a little and bit. Then, yeah. And so the Lafroigs now have even been open and longer. You, and when you pour it, you got to admit that gas is clear. But who knows? Yeah. So, but now, that, that would only that would only subdue the nose. True, that is true. The nose, the nose seemed better. Seemed richer on yeah, the on gas that left. one. Now, what is the gas? We haven't said if this is the first time they're tuning in. Argon, right? What yeah, it's argon? One, there's like three gases in it. In a, three in one, because it was a it's wine a, preserver. What's, and what's the name of it? Um, it's right over... That's down there. We're going to need it to regas. Private preserve. Private preserve. And these, I thought we got ripped off and they sent us empty ones, but it's just, it's so light, it's a yeah. gas. Yes. This was uh, 0.29 ounces. Right. It but was so light. I was like, come on, nothing's in there. It'll, like, it's you in can, there. this will, will seal a couple hundred bottles, yes. they say. Which we will never be doing. It sure feels like you got ripped off. All right. Lafroy 10. That's interesting. I'm going to cleanse. I want to drink more of that non-gassed McAllen. All right. I'm going, going to the left, the left Yeah. The light, sweet peat. Yeah. Peat's all over this. Peanuts. Roasted peanuts. 
notice how I one up you with the roasted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, boy, that smells Fair. good, though. Kind of a weak nose on my left one. Really? I got a nice roasted peanut. Back of the hand, baby. Back of the hand. Mm. My uh, my one on the right seems a little more subdued. Slight slight peat on that one. I'm not getting as much peat on the one on the right. Well, I get a little more citrus on the one on the left. Hmm. That's hard to tell apart on those. It is, but the right one here seems a little more subdued. Yeah, right one is a little more subdued than the left. They're close though. They are close. Mm. I'm, not, I'm not declaring it. They're both they're close enough. Okay. All right, they're close. A little more subdued on the right. All right, go to the left one. Tasting left. Um, burnt stick from a fire. Maybe a twinge of brine, seaweed. ABV is definitely lighter. You can tell. Um, a little bit there's of dry, hints, dry biscuit. Hints of peat. <laughs> hints of peat. Sweetness, honey, light citrus. Interesting, because the nose was slightly better on this one, but it doesn't seem as peaty as what I remember. But it's there, little touches of a, of a smoked meat maybe is there too. All right, going to the right. The nose is definitely more muted on this one. That's all sweet. There's very little peat in that. That's the gassed one, and that's the left one is non-gassed. I'm guessing. This one just seems dead to me. I don't get the uh, the smoked wood stick thing. Mm -mm. I'm getting more peat on my left one. More sweet on my right. I'm just getting like dusty, dry, vanilla touch. All right, you ready to know? This almost tastes like a peated balvenie. Hmm. Uh, the the, uh, good the old peat week. Oh. Well, no, I don't know. There's a lot of peat there. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Let me do a touch of water in both of these. That one did open up a little bit more there. That's interesting. Hold on. Mm. Now I'm starting to wonder what the heck's going on. Yeah, I know. On second sip, the right one got a lot better. I'm going to really shake her up, both of them, in case there was gas in there. No, that one's way too sweet. Which one? I think. Just more flavors on the left. I'm getting more flavors on the left. More peat flavors, more sweet, um, honey type citrus sweetness on the right. If I was going to guess, I'd say the one on my right is gassed because it's not as flavorful and the one on my left is the non-gas. Are you ready to know yours? Yeah. Far right, gassed. Mm -hmm. Non-gassed is on your left. What are mine? Your gassed is on the left. I lined yours up the same. Really? The gassed is on the left. So we're different here then because mm -hmm. the far right one, I did what I did was the outers for both of yours oh. were the gassed ones.
I did it easy, so they'd both be the same. I can yeah. remember it. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I was. They, you know, they both gas going lines. blind though. It is closer than I remembered when we were, and maybe it's. I don't know if, what, what's happened. So this is the gas one. The left one is the gas one. Yep. I get more flavors here, and the nose was better. The it is to me it's richer and sweeter. It's more honeyed. Um, but there's not as much peat. To me, there was more peat in, in my left one, which would be the non-gassed. Hmm. You're sure the right one's not the gas? Because <laughs> this tastes a lot less flavor than this one. All right. Hmm. Well, well, we split the difference on that one. Then. Are you just getting what's the, what's the flavor that you're getting? That's, this one does have a lot of flavor, but it's more sweet. It's more honeyed hmm. uh, sweetness. What I get is citrus. a mutedness here, and and I don't get the like here. I had the the stick and the seaweed and the brine, and over here it seemed just muted and kind of dusty. Now, in the finish. It's hard to tell though. I'm picking up some peat on the finish, but it's real hard when you're mixing two peat. I mean, yeah. even though I know that I can't quite distinguish that lingering finish. It could be from either. But on the bursting flavor, it's definitely muted on the one that's just been sitting on gas for a while. It's getting pretty low. You would think as old as it is, it's starting to have an effect on that flavor. That's interesting. We both picked out the gassed McAllen as being a little bit muted. Mm -hmm. um, and then we split on the Lafroy. That's but interesting. you know what? I mean, uh, I'm leaning towards not using gas at all. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm, and I'm not, I mean, I don't cur currently use gas I anyway. Don't. I, after we did the second this year. Was, and then what I will do and what I have done, if it were to get this low, which is about the last quarter, maybe, maybe a little bit more, maybe it's one third. I'm very tempted to move it into a uh, smaller bottles just so that oxidization doesn't take place. Um, but I haven't done that with all of them. Every once in a while I'll find one and go, whoa, I haven't, I heel slayed that. But, um, well, we'll be back next year and try it again and see what it's happens. It's still an interesting. It's still, yeah, it's still interesting. I'm still surprised. Good. I don't remember there being much of a difference nope. between those. And now I'm getting it and we both got it. Mm hmm. Hmm. Um, before we go out, a little Patreon thing. So if you support us on Patreon, even now I got extra Christmas cards, all the cards should be out. Uh, there was one APO military address that I held on to because I wasn't sure. And then I just said, let me get it out there. Let's assume that's still good. But like, uh, Willis, I've got to get your address. It came back. We'll get that updated. But do me a favor for those that are out there. If you change your address and you're a Patreon supporter, update that. While you're on there, check out, make sure your card info hasn't changed because we've got a, a few people that I think they've got a new card or something and they're, they're no longer working. Those accounts aren't working. So check that out if you're out there. Meanwhile, if you want to be a brand new Patreon supporter, I got extra Christmas cards. You could have Christmas in February. And the little card of us comes, you put it up there. The other thing I'm saying is, if anybody wants to send us a photo, I, last year we got a couple photos of our card up on some different mm. refrigerators mm -hmm. or up on the counter. That was cool. If anybody wants to send those to us, we'll work them onto the show. You can do it. We'll try to. Work we'll try to. No promises, but we'll right. try to. You can send it to... Uh, Scotch test uh, or Scott yeah. at Scotch no. test. No, Scotch, just Scotch well, test dummies. Scotch test dummies at gmail.com gmail. is the preferred. Okay, send yeah. it to there, and uh, or, we'll, we'll try to work them in. Or Scott at Scotch test dummies .com or Bart at Scotch test dummies .com. But Scotch test dummies at gmail.com is really the Love preferred. That. Yep, yeah. Scotch test dummies Email. at gmail.com. Yep. Love it. Anything else? I'm going to my McAllen. I'm going to the McAllen as well, but I want to go to the one. Right. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Cilantro. Dummies. Dummies.